Listen, I don't need to tell you guys about how less than stellar 2020 was. And while we won't get into details here, I think it's more than fair to say that 2020 was definitely one for the history books. It was something. We definitely did some things. And while we may not be looking at the same implications that we were in 2020, there is still one thing that's carried over into 2021, and that's the stress the last 18 months have put on our supply chain. We're not just talking wheels and tires here, we're talking chicken wings to computer chips, coffee and even wheels, tires and lift kits. Inventory has been a bit of a struggle and it definitely looks like it's going to continue at least for a little while. But what exactly is a back order? What does national back order mean? How does that affect you guys as the guy or gal who needs their wheels, tires, suspension, or other parts, including performance parts, because we have those too. Good news is I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets. You guys can follow me on Instagram at dusty.co. And today we're going to be breaking down exactly what a back order is, how it works, and of course, what it means for you at the end. At the end of the video, we'll give you guys a few quick tips if you're looking for wheels and tires, but maybe experiencing a back order at this time. All right, let's get it. If you're watching this video and you're wondering why it may seem familiar, well, that's because it is. See, way back in 2015, Sean actually made the same video, and back then it taught me a lot about how the world of wheels worked in terms of supply chain. And now while Sean's video is essentially still true from a fundamental standpoint, we wanted to bring you guys an updated version of this video because quite frankly, the world has changed quite a bit in the last few years, especially in the last 18 months. Like anything, time always marches on. Nothing stays the same, and the only constants in this world are death and taxes. So first and foremost, what exactly is a back order? What does it even mean? According to dictionary.com, a back order can be both a noun and a verb. And for the purpose of today's video, we're gonna focus on the action of placing a back order, otherwise known as the verb. Dictionary defines the verb back order as placing an order for a product that is temporarily out of stock. Now, that by itself sounds really official and fancy and technical, but at the end of the day, a back order just means that there are no more of that specific product in the inventory of the United States, hence being called a national back order. Let me break it down for you real quick. I've been buying wheels for quite a while now. While maybe not as long as some of you, I bought my first set of custom wheels when I was just 16 years old. Just a cute little guy, really long hair, dimples, it was great. I had no beard, it was weird. No photos, we're not doing that. My first set of wheels was a set of American Racing Outlaw 2 reps that I slapped some nasty 31 10.50 R15 Firestone Mud Terrain 23 degree tires that I thought was the coolest thing ever. Back then, believe it or not, a 31, that was a big tire because trucks came with like 245, 65s. See, growing up around this industry, I never really understood exactly what a back order was or really how the wheel world worked in general until I started here at Custom Offsets. So, because I didn't know it back then, we're not gonna teach it to you guys. Here's how it works. <laughs> Finally! Custom Offsets has roughly 90,000 different stock keeping units or SKUs for short on the website. To stock just one set of four of that many different wheels and tires would be something like four and a half or five billion dollars worth of inventory. Now listen, we love you guys, truly. We, we really do, but that is way out of our leagues. Like, way out of our leagues. For reference, that's enough money to buy roughly 2,500 50-foot yachts or enough to buy five of the new Levi Stadium. Better yet, if you're feeling like you wanna give back and be a little generous, you could buy a cup of coffee for every college student in America every day for their entire college school year this year with that kind of money. That's a lot of coffee. Good news is you couldn't get that much coffee anyway because there's a coffee bean shortage, it's great. For that reason, when you guys place an order, one of two things happens. Now, of course, we do stock a ton, and I mean a ton of popular wheels and tires, somewhere in the neighborhood of like, 10,000 total wheels and tires at any given time. This is where we can roll the footage of all the tires at the warehouse, where there's like more Venom powers than you could ever want in your life. Versa tires, fuels, motor mount, it's all there, we got it. But we can't stock them all, meaning that if you order a wheel and tire package that we don't have, these are oftentimes shipped to us from the manufacturer's warehouse. So you know, many of these manufacturer's warehouses are either on the East Coast, so Maine and Pennsylvania and all that stuff, or the West Coast, most notably California here, is that's where most of the big receiving ports are. 
As long as the wheel or tire that you want is in inventory in those warehouses, life is pretty simple. They ship the products to us, we mount them and balance them, and then we put them on pallets, ship them to you for free, of course, because that's what we do here at Custom Offsets, and then you ride as rain. In like 10 to 15 days, you've got your wheels at your door, you're putting them on your truck, you and your buddies are mobbing down to the local Walmart meet, and everybody's happy. Here's where it gets complicated. Quite simply, a national back order on a specific wheel or tire means that there are no more of that particular product available for purchase in the United States. So why is it that sometimes there are products listed as back order on our website, but someone else may have them available for purchase? Well, I can't speak for every certain circumstance. This usually just means that whoever has those wheels or tires for sale has them sitting in a warehouse, much like we do, right? So while this can be great for getting the wheels, tires, or lift kit that you may want in a timely fashion, not all retailers, but some retailers will actually charge more as they know that they have the only set available at that time. One prime example of this is auto dealerships who are notorious for doing this, often calling it their regional market adjustment, which is really just some crap about how they have one car that you want and no one else has it. It happens. We don't do that here. So what were to happen if say you would order a set of wheels that are on back order? So when you guys order wheels from us, we immediately open an order for your wheels from the manufacturer, at which time they're gonna give us an estimate to when we can expect the wheels to arrive here in the good old US of A. Typically these back orders are somewhere between four and six weeks, but can be more or less depending on where the wheels actually are in the supply chain. Important note here, we're using the term wheels a lot, right? But really, this goes for anything. It's wheels, it's tires, it's lift kits, it's performance parts, it's lighting. It's everything that we carry, generally speaking, follows the same principle. See, most wheels and tires actually come from across the big pond and are made in countries like China, Taiwan, Serbia, Indonesia, and of course, others. Once the wheels are actually made in their parent country, they're loaded into boxes and then loaded into big containers, and then they load these containers onto these massive cargo ships, much like the one that we saw get stuck sideways in the Suez Canal this year. By the way, RIP to that boat captain, he's not dead, but he probably doesn't work in the nautical line of work anymore. I'm just gonna say that when you make a mistake of that scale, it gets a little rough. Once manufacturers have loaded the wheels in their containers onto the ship, the ship sets sail. Here's the thing. The ocean is big, like really big, like really, really, really big. And while container ships are also pretty big, they're still subject to the mercy of the great big blue ocean, which means that if the weather is not good, the ships don't sail. This can mean that ships can sometimes take upwards of three to four additional weeks to sail from the country of origin to the United States. Now, once they arrive here in the good old US of A, it takes another week or so for that container full of wheels to get unloaded. And from there, it gets shipped from the port to us, custom offsets. Sounds simple, right? It is, but there's more curveballs that come into play here. Sometimes these containers will only contain a few of the wheels that you want. Well, you may be waiting for them. Someone else may have reserved those wheels before you did simply by ordering them before you did. Like, they were first. It's just how it works. In events like this, it can mean that you need to wait longer until the next container arrives with the wheels or tires that you're looking for. Not ideal, right? I get it. Additionally, it's not uncommon for these containers to face additional struggles along the way, especially here in 2021. From time to time, it's possible to see containers get stuck at places like the port, sometimes upwards of two weeks or longer, while port workers work through the backlog of all the container ships they have to unload. There's a lot of stuff going on in shipping right now. We made another video on this. We can link it down below. If you're interested in that, you guys can check it out. But for this reason, when we say four to six week back order, it's the best educated guess of a timeline that the manufacturer can provide us at the time of your order being placed. Trust us, we hate waiting for your wheels just as badly as you do. So we get it, we feel you. It's, it's not fun, but it's the state of the world right now. So let's say you're mid build and you need wheels like ASAP Rocky, right? What if you already took your stocks off and you sold them to your buddy or a buddy's friend or a friend of a friend of a buddy or heck, maybe even some rando off of Craigslist who had crazy hair and bad breath. Listen, I'm not gonna judge. Either way, your truck is now sitting on jack stands and you need wheels now, like yesterday now. Good news on this one is that we actually have a way that you guys can look at what wheels that we have in stock in the warehouse right now, ready to ship. Same goes for tires, right? All you gotta do is head over to the website and be sure to sort by quick delivery. This is actually gonna allow you to view all the wheels and tires that we have in the warehouse right now, meaning that you can pick up a wheel and tire package and have it to your door in like 10 days with quick delivery. It's pretty awesome. 
And it's not just all the like no-name wheels. We have big movers, fuel, moto metal, XD, Venom Power tires, Versa tires. There's a lot of good stuff in there. This will at least get you rolling and on your way to the local truck show with all your buddies because as everyone knows, there's still some shows left this year. And then once your dream wheels and tires do come back into stock, you can always sell the ones that you bought to your buddy for like 75% of what you paid for them and then buy your other set. It's like hashtag science. It's pretty cool. What do you guys think about all the back order madness? Has it affected you or have you been able to get the products that you're looking for in a timely fashion? Let us know down in the comments below. And as always, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already so we can keep bringing you guys the industry insight and truck trends that you've come to love from us. With that, I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets and I'm gonna go eat some lunch. Peace. Swear to God, if you put a picture of me at 16 in this video, I'm going to kill you.